Okay, in today's video, we're going to be looking at our FP series and our 5 megapixel PoE cameras and system. Here's uh, some of the cameras we have in our series. And here is the recorders we have in this series. Here you can see a 4 channel and an 8 channel PoE system. So here we're going to explain what a non PoE system is. So a non PoE system can still get the benefits of a PoE system but requires splitters and extra connections and as you can see you've got the one splitter for one end which goes to the recorder into the power and the other end which goes to the camera and to the other power port on the camera and they are linked together with an Ethernet cable. Um, on a PoE system you don't have to use a splitter or a power supply and you can simply stick to just using the Ethernet cable from the recorder directly to the camera and this will give it power as well as connection. If you didn't select the option for your for a hard drive, you can install your own hard drive. You need to safely remove all the screws and then slide off the top panel of the recorder and then install your hard drive. Uh, make sure that you firmly connect the data and the power. Those two cables are important and then fit the hard drive down with four screws underneath into the fixture. Once it's all firm, Hit the lid back on and seal it back up with the screws. Once that's all done, you can then start connecting up the recorder. So you've got your power supply, your USB for your mouse, and then make sure it's to a main socket. You can use a TV or monitor to display from the hard uh, from the recorder. You want to use a VGA or HDMI. Once the recorder is booted up, you then want to right click to bring up the user login. Once you've done that, the first thing you want to do is format that hard drive that you've just installed. If you haven't, uh, if you've selected the option for hard drive, you can skip this step. So here we're connecting an Ethernet cable for the network to bring it online. To ensure that it is online, you need to go to the configuration under the network and then you want to enable the DHCP. This automatically assigns it an IP address and brings it online on your network. You want to restart the recorder in order to make sure those settings have been applied. Once your recorder is restarted, you just want to go back to where you found those settings under the config and network and then disable the DHCP. So whatever the router assigned to the recorder for an IP address, it will always remain on that address. Now we're going to add the camera. So here you want to add and this will then scan your network for the camera's IP address. Once you've got found your IP address of your camera, you just want to tick it and then select add. Once the camera has been added, it will come up into one of the empty channels and give you a display. You just want to repeat this step if you want to add all the cameras. If you've got one or one camera connected, you can select multiple cameras and add them. So for the mobile access, again, we're going back to the network settings when selecting the option for P2P. Here you can see the status is online, which will indicate that the app is working. Once you've got the app installed, you just want to register and log in. And once you've registered and log in, you want to select the add button, select SN add. With SN add, you can scan the QR code and enter the login credentials for the recorder. This can be found on the label of the recorder as well as what you use to log into the actual recorder. Once this is done, it will bind the device to your account that you've created onto the application. And then here you want to preview it. So select the camera icon in the center of the square, tick your registered device, and then to preview it. When you preview it, you'll get all the cameras display that you have connected. Here you can see we're zooming in and out. So if you have a PTZ or motorized zoom camera, you'll be able to use this feature on your mobile app and control it remotely to zoom in and out if it's motorized and if it's PTZ. Thank you for watching.